there he is, the bad gardener. There it is, everybody. I mean, bad. I don't mean like I'm a bad gardener. Anyway, welcome, everybody. We got a special edition of uh, Gardening with Guy today. Um, if you haven't joined us uh, every Saturday at 8 a.m., we do our Gardening with Guy show. We have so much fun in that hour. We're still having our show tomorrow, so don't worry about that. We have our, our show tomorrow at 8 a.m., lots of great stuff. But we wanted to kind of give you a sneak peek of what the show's all about um, this morning. So welcome into our show, everybody. Uh, the whole day is about taking care of your outdoor property, getting ready. As we know, springtime is a coming. It's upon us. It's, I mean, you know, the weather's starting to change, so it's time to get your garden uh, growing and to start to get your yard in shape. Uh, and we're doing all kinds of great ideas for you today. We're gonna start you with uh, something from IdeaWorks. I, th I'll tell you something, these things are so dang smart. They're called uh, the Gorilla Ties, and what they are, we call them Gorilla Ties because they're as strong as a gorilla, but uh, they go anywhere and everywhere. You can wrap anything, twist anything, tie anything, uh, store anything. At only $17.95, you get 15 of these things, and you use them over and over and over again. You're gonna get three different sizes, so you get the big, long 39-inch, so that's over three feet. You get the 18 inch in length, five of those, and then we're gonna give you five of the eight inch. So if you wanna do twisty ties on bags and chip bags and things like that, it's ideal. You see all the great colors that they come in. Oh, use them over and over and over. No more looking for those little tiny twist ties or trying to tie things up or twist them and all that stuff. These are perfect. Matt Davis is here. We don't have a lot of time on this, so I wanna get you right out. But this, yeah, there it is. So how many, how many of you have a drawer with like 20 or 30 yeah. of these little bread ties? They work. They work. Yeah, they work. Yeah, but, they but work. They're, but they're for little things. Not a bad idea. But no. how, how about if we take the twist tie and we put it on steroids? We That's make it exactly into the gorilla tie. Yeah. How about this? This has got a steel core on the inside, foam on the outside. It's never going to rust. It's bendable. You can tie things together. You can retie them together. It's reusable over and over and over again. And again, you're getting five of the eight inch. You're getting five of the 18 inch. And you, yes, you're getting five of the 39 inch Gorilla Ties. These are bendable, easy way to get organized, bundle things together, sure. hang them up, you know, use the vertical space inside your home and get rid of that mess. Mm -hmm. Mess is stress, my friends. If you have Christmas lights that look like this and you just threw them in the closet, well, you know, it's easy to just throw them in the closet. Unfortunately, you're gonna hate yourself uh, when, it comes, when it comes to this uh, next Christmas time. Take a look at this, look what we did. We took the Christmas lights, three of the Gorilla Ties, and we wrapped them all together, nice and organized, so easy, so simple. You can even use Gorilla Ties to seal your chip bags. Take a look down in front of the table, guy. We actually came up with so many different ideas, we yeah. didn't even have room on the table. Take a look down front. Think about the things that you can hang in your garage, in your basement, in your attic. You can use, uh, use it to uh, bundle together uh, outdoor furniture. You can hang bicycles. You can hang uh, wood. You know, if you want to bundle together your wood, get a bundle of sticks, you can do that. Sure. Even the bags. And here it is, guy. This is the time. You ready? What do you this got is our, there? This is our Friday morning workout, everybody. All right, don't, All right pray please, for me. You ready? Don't up. Don't hurt well, yourself, Well, I'll tell you what. Please. People are looking at the Gorilla Ties, and they're thinking, wait a minute. How, how strong are these? Yeah. Did you know one Gorilla Tie? Look at this will hold up to 200 pounds. Now, I don't have 200 pounds here, but I have 60 pounds. Look at that. Those are some serious solid Big metal, kettle solid bells. weight kettlebells, yeah, 60 yeah, yeah. pounds of kettlebells yep. with one Gorilla Tie. How well, strong is that? Yeah, and there, and to give you an idea of the size, so this is the 39 and a half yeah. inch size, right? I and love you that. You can see one. how big it is. So go out and look in your garage or go out and look in your shed mm -hmm. and see what you'd like to hang up on the wall and get it off the wall. Um, you know, you know, uh, better than a bungee cord because these oh, you know, bungee yeah. cords. Uh, can come apart. Bungee board cords basically have two hooks. They're kind of they hard to, back. well, they're hard yep. to adjust yep. as well. Yeah, they're one they're size, sort that's of a it. fixed length. With this, so if you wanted to hang your chairs, you'd simply wrap it around the chairs, give it a little twist like that, right? So there's, there's your hanging loop. And then you would take the other side and you could hang it or you could tie it around whatever it is you're hanging. So if you have a hook in the wall, you can hang it like that. And now all your chairs can be hanging like that. When you're done with it, if you wanna use it again, remember these are reusable over and over. They're steel on the inside. All you do is you open it back up, give it a little twist, straighten it out. And there you go. How and now you can that? use this over and over and over again. Uh, we are gonna give you 15 of these things. 15. It's only, they're only about a dollar a piece. Uh, if you buy them Amazing. here with us, they're on FlexPay, mm -hmm. only $8.98. Take a look at the, the you know, our, our footage here, and you can see the ways that people are using it. 
honestly, they're so great to have. And it's strong enough to even hold your industrial aluminum ladders. Look right? at that, absolutely. It'll even hold some of your wood ladders, because remember, yeah. up to 200 pounds. Get things up off the floor. Well, That's the, what it's the about. The twisty tie is a yeah. little tiny piece of metal. Exactly. And, and it's got plastic yeah, it on the outside. Yeah, it does an okay job for the tiny things. But when you want to get the big stuff, when you want to get it up look off the floor, yeah. you want to get or How great does that look? Imagine all of that laying on the floor. Now, of yeah. your garage. No wonder you, you hate going out to the garage because it's so disorganized out there. And think about it. Think about all the uses. Think about a garden hose. You know, when you get this home, they have these little zip ties on here. And look yeah. how nice and organized that is. That's great. Yeah. If I cut this zip tie, <laughs> that's the well, last which, time. Which you have it, to do. It will, right, all it's right. the last time you will ever be able to get it organized. <laughs> but look, when you take the Gorilla tie, you put it on there and you can't do it wrong. You can do it a million different ways. Look at that, just a couple twists and now you can hang this up anywhere. You can even make your own handle. Look at that, now you've got a handle. So imagine oh, this dude. is a bundle of wood. Imagine this imagine is a bunch of extension cords. Grocery bags, So right? Grocery bags, grocery, absolutely. Grocery bags in the store and you wanna just bundle them up and Love take it. them outside. And and by the way, even in the closet, uh, the foam is really soft on mm -hmm. your hands too. So if you are going to use it to carry things, it's got its own natural cushion grip inside and you can kind of adjust it. So I've squared it off and look at how easy it is to carry things. Put a few of these in your car, put some on your boat. If you've got an RV, put them in there. Oh yeah, um, a I, boat. Mean, I didn't think about a boat. Anywhere, yeah, idea. especially with boats too, yeah. with all the water and everything Not like gonna that. Not going to rust. Non-slip, so it, it, things mm -hmm. will, will hold uh, steady in your hand. You get 15. Again, wow. we give you every size. We give you the smaller ones, which you can use in and around the house, the medium size, which would be good for a little, you know, a little bit larger things, and Look then the this. big industrial ones, uh, as we said, which will hold up to 200 pounds of weight. We give you all these different colors. Why do we do that? Because how hard is it to find twisty ties That's when you right. need them? They're always lost, right? They always make them black or, yeah. you know, or, or green. That's it. You can never find them. So Look we gave this. you an assortment of colors to be able to utilize as see well. This? Did you see this? What'd you do? Let this me see is, what you this did. This is my friend Bray did this. Look at this. You can even use it as a stand. You can create oh, you so many fan. different things yeah. with your iPads. Look at that. And I know by popular demand by the guys on the set, they can't believe that I'm man enough, but I will do it, do it one again. more time. Here 60 goes. pounds, you know my friend. Oh, the second time. look at that, 60 pounds with wow. the Gorilla Ties. It's amazing. Powerful, they're, they're so great at getting organized. You're gonna love these. It's about as close as, uh, as you've come to those kettlebells in a long yeah. time. <laughs> Somebody had to tell me what those were. I said, what, what are, are those, these big what are things? funny, heavy oh things? Oh my gosh, Matt, great job. Thank, Thank you, you, buddy. Guys. I Thank appreciate you, being here. I love these. I love little cool items like this. Hey, I want to give you a little teaser here. Still to come, our best value of the day. You know, it's that time of year, right? You want to clean off all that nasty, scuzzy stuff that's on your driveway. You know, the snow and the sleet and the rain and the salt and the dirt and the grime and the mold and the mildew. All the various things that get into the cracks and crevices of your house. There's really only one way to do it. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another way. Get a bucket of water and a toothbrush. No, you don't want to do that. You want to get a pressure washer. And by the way, we scale down the pressure washer size so that you can handle it. This is not the one that you got to pump gas in that, you, you know, that needs its own space in the garage. This one is quick. It's convenient. You have the power, 1600 PSI. And if you want to clean off your deck or around your pool or in your yard or your shutters, you know, all the places where winter is kind of taking its toll, this is the way to do it. You need to have a pressure washer. We're gonna be airing that at the end of this hour. What makes it special uh, is it's convenient. Uh, and look, we have all the colors to choose from. So we got blue and green and purple and red and teal and, and gray and did I miss any? I don't know. Uh, and you have navy. We have 55 feet of reach on this. So uh, you can get it to anywhere around your house. We have it on Flex Bay at a great discounted price today. Let me introduce you. I cannot have gardening with Guy without gardening with Guy's friend Pete. How awesome. That'll be another show. Look how cool you look in that picture. Dude, I look amazing. <laughs> you look really, really good. I'm very, I'm, I'm like, I'm an angry gardener. I'm like, I've got a tool belt ah, on and all you, that stuff. You're a guy's guy. You got it. That's, that'll be the other show, The Angry Gardener. Anyway, welcome, Peter. <laughs> thanks, thanks. All right, so we were talking about getting your house ready for, yes. for springtime and all that stuff. But if you if you watch Gardening with Guy, by the way, which is Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern time, if you watch that show, <laughs> you'll see that we, we do a lot of, we have a lot of planting that we're doing. Exactly. A lot of plants from leaf and petal. And Peter knows better than anybody because I've been over to Peter's house today. He's got amazing stuff growing in his yard. You got to get the soil ready. I exactly. And for some of us, you know, we're thinking about whether we just want to put more flowers and plants. How do we get that soil ready to go? Or even right. better, what about that 
that huge vegetable garden. Maybe you want to go bigger. Maybe you want to finally have that amazing vegetable garden. You know how, how great vegetables are. We love having fresh vegetables, but it's difficult. And then they're really expensive in the stores. You can do it with the help of this tiller from Earthwise. Because here's why. I mean, I think about planting. Well, what's the hardest part about starting that garden is preparing that soil. So maybe you have that, that area in the backyard that there's some grass growing, maybe mostly weeds. How do you prepare that? How do you turn that soil to make planting easier? I think this is the secret weapon to get that ready my, for the garden. My dad, when he would get his garden going, he had this whole mulch uh, compost pile. He would get us out there with shovels and pitchforks to turn the soil because he knew, and he had a thriving garden. He knew you had to aerate the soil, beat up the roots, right. get, the, get the fertilizer incorpororated in there. Exactly. And when you, if you get a really close shot of what this is doing, yeah, let's do that. you will see how deep and rich the soil is underneath. And Peter, you're, you're not exerting any force. No, it's so simple. Look at that. Because here's the best thing. Maybe, you know, for a lot of us, I mean, look at what I've already done right there. I mean, that could be row after row that you're planting. You know, what we don't, maybe we haven't used the tiller because you're thinking, well, oh, it's a big gas powered unit. We talk about that so much. You've got to put gas and you've got to have the oil. It's yeah. loud, it's heavy, it's difficult to use. Earthwise has gotten rid of all that. So we don't have the fumes. We don't have to worry about gas, but you saw me using this. It is so simple. Anyone can handle this. When you're taking it in and out of the garage, you've got your handle right there, but then this has wheels. So I have wheels on there, which makes it even easier. I have an 11 inch wide path, which yeah. is exactly what this you want. This is the larger model that we carry. Exactly. This is the one I think you should get. But yeah. doing rows and rows of vegetables and plants and flowers, it's so simple. We can get down to a depth of eight inches, which I think is perfect. So let me do this. I have got this little, so normally we can look at what I've done right here. So I have this great soil now that I've been able to turn. So planting, I don't even need the little trowel that basically I can move this aside and put the plant in there. If this is the area where I haven't used yeah. the tiller, this look is what you're dealing with. So whether it's a shovel, a pitchfork or the trowel, and you're trying to turn that soil to plant your Peter, plants. Hold, grab some of that dirt in your hand. Just, I want everybody look to that, see know, what this dirt looks like. I should just use my hand. Look at after that. After it's after, but hold it up and look. Now you'll see how loose that dirt is. I mean, you know, it's he's great. taken lousy dirt <laughs> and turned it into really good dirt. And that's, that is, that's the whole key to this whole thing. Look, and I love good dirt. Everybody yeah. does. So, but, that's, but that's the key is you need to loosen up the soil right. so that the roots can get down into the soil so you don't have to break your back digging holes. Right, so I think maybe that's number one. You're gonna be doing a lot less work. When this tiller turns that soil, prepares the soil, but then because you've aerated it, because you've created that even better soil, if you wanted to, you can also improve the soil by putting peat moss in there, adding your fertilizer, all those things, and then you can turn the soil again and mix them all in. So all of this is easier, and then the most important thing is better results. Yeah, yeah. It's and the I, secret weapon outside I, is this tiller. I will tell you, as far as the gardening tips that we give you on our show, when we do our show, um, this is probably one of the most important things you can do. Because uh, if you're just going out and you're trying to plant things in a dried out hole, remember the roots are only going to get to go so far and they're going to struggle a little bit. I mean, they may still do okay, but if you want them to thrive, the soil needs to be loose to be able to plant because that way the little roots can find their way down to where the moisture is and all the nutrients and all that good stuff that plants like. But rather than getting out with a shovel or a, or a pitchfork or a, you know, a pickaxe or a hoe, whatever it is you're using, and you can use those tools as well, this is the way to prepare your soil for planting. Now we are getting across the country, we're getting into that time of year where we're starting to think about getting our gardens ready. This is the first step that you will take. That's why we show it in, uh, in mid-March, <laughs> because we know that gardens are gonna start going in in April. So this is the time to do it. And I want you to think about this, and Peter, you know this as well. What does every professional farmer do before they plant right. their crops? They're gonna turn that soil. You know that, that thing that, that goes into, you know, maybe even in the old days, you know, before we had power tools, you'd see a horse and drawn like, cultivators that would turn the soil. Plow the field. You gotta plow yeah, the field. And it just makes it easier, then that soil's gonna be ready to go. You're gonna drop your seeds, you're gonna drop your seedlings in there. You're going to have better prepared soil, so better results. So if you're thinking about that huge vegetable garden, this is going to be exactly what you need to make sure you can get the work done without making it back breaking. If you can get those results, this is the way to go. So let me give you a close up of this. So I'll even show you this. This is the one we were just using. So you can see we've got some dirt on there, but four steel tines that are turning with that bale arm that I was using. I'll show you that in a moment. It is so easy. Remember, 11 inch wide path. Here's what's great about that. Here's the other thing that I think is amazing. If you have existing rows of plants and flowers, 
Using this to weed in between those plants is perfect. It'll chew up all those weeds. It'll turn the soil for you. It makes it so simple. Now, I was showing you the wheels. Let me get on this side. When you are using this with the wheels down, it makes it very easy to control. But if you want to take advantage of the full depth of this tiller, you can actually raise these wheels. They click into place. Let me pull that out just like that. Yeah, yeah. So now with the wheels up, you can now use this and get all the way down in the soil. So if you want to get a little bit deeper, the full eight inches of depth, this is the way to do that. But I recommend everyone, if you've not tried the tiller before, use it with the wheels down. It makes it so simple that I think you're gonna love using it with the wheels well, down, up or down, either way. There you go, locked in place, Peter, it is perfect. It weighs what, about 20 pounds, right? Yep. So it's not a super heavy, it weighs half the, the, the weight of most lawnmowers out yeah, there. No, it's and the difference is, remember, it kind of propels itself because you have that forward turning action of the tines digging into the soil. All you do is, yep. and there's a safety mechanism on top, so you can't start it accidentally. It's Let's not like one of the power tillers out there or an industrial farm machine. It's a machine meant for your garden. So whether you're doing vegetables or you have flower beds, if you really want to do your flowers and your fruits and vegetables a, fla a favor, a flavor, get this. I'm telling you, it's gonna. It, it's. I have one and I love it. It's so easy. It's just gonna get you those those great results. I mean, that's the reason you're planting. You want to see those beautiful flowers. Yeah. You want to have amazing yield from those vegetables. This is the way to do it. You're aerating. You're turning. And I'll show you. We'll do some of the peat moss and more of that fertilizer because you can improve that soil if you're concerned about the quality of your soil. This is a great way to cultivate, turn that soil. So I wanted to show you just how to how to operate this. So what we have is the on off button is right here, or just you just say the on button. So I pull that nothing happens until I squeeze that bail arm there we go I shouldn't be doing that <laughs> all right. trying to show you so that's all you do but the great part about this is that when I let go of that bail arm it completely stops let right. me turn it back this way the right way to do it so I push that button and I squeeze that handle so now we're ready to go but as I said if I let go if you feel uncomfortable at any time you let go of that handle and it stops. So I think that's a great way to make sure that you're always safe. Yep. But as you mentioned, Guy, when I pick this up and I want to go forward, it just digs in. But I think you can really see the results as I just that's slowly pull back. And it oh, makes yeah. it so simple. You're not going to have any problems doing this. And I love seeing the results just in this little area right here. Look how great that soil looks yeah. in just a few minutes. So again, I'll show you this. This is a great way to improve that soil. So I can add all that peat moss in there. Right, you could add fertilizer if you wanted to, whatever it is that you add to your soil, and you don't right. have to dig it by hand, right. which is hard to do. As I said before, my, my father had a, a composting pile. He'd put everything out there, right, because he was a fisherman, so he'd throw fish bones. I mean, <laughs> right. he had the greatest soil ever, but he would get me and my poor brother out there like at the beginning to of summer, it all. Right. and it would take us two and a half hours to do it, and we would sit there and, and you know moan and complain about it because <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's not if you've got an electric tiller. It doesn't take up a lot of space in the garage. There's no gas or fumes. It's relatively quiet. I mean, I'm talking over it. You don't hear us screaming out here, right? And it's so convenient and versatile. You can do your garden beds. You can do, uh, uh, even if you just have a uh, box container, big container uh, gardens a lot of people have who live in the city. They want to yeah, get the out Yeah, the raised there. garden yeah, beds. This is whatever. a great way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that if you have an area that's, that's just some grass that isn't working for you. And you're thinking, well, how am I gonna turn that grass area that's- Chop it up. Exactly, you yeah. can go right over that. That's that grass, whatever's there, and this is gonna turn it into an amazing right. garden. You're gonna love it. If you want it, uh, it is event priced at $139.95. It's on FlexPay, as you can see down there as well. Uh, and uh, we reduce the shipping and handling if you wanna go. We're going, we're, I'm walking, they're yelling at me. I want to walk over to the pole saw area. Hold on, let me just, hold on, let me strike a pose. There you go. <laughs> All right, so here's what I'll tell you. I have a, a pole saw at my house. Mine's just the pole saw model, which uh, has the extender um, handle on it. We've got a two-in-one today that is the lowest price chainsaw that we carry uh, and, and the most versatile one that we carry as well. Why? Because this is gonna enable you to, to attach the pole and get way, way up over your head. Nobody should ever get on a ladder with a chainsaw who's not a chainsaw professional, but you don't need to be a professional with this unit. You've got the 10 inch bar and chain, so you can do a ton of, of large size logs if you're making firewood, if you're trimming up around your yard. You can use it uh, down low if you don't wanna bend over. I use this thing all the time. I keep it in the pole saw most of the time unless I'm doing firewood. Uh, then I put it in the, in the chain, uh, the hand saw. Look at how easy. That little button clicks up, you lock it down and you're good to go. No gas. 
The only oil you need to put in, there's a little, uh, a little small little valve that actually greases the chain, which helps it to circulate. And you can buy that. It's chains called chainsaw oil. They have it at every, every uh, home store has it. It comes in little bottles. You put a little bit in. There's a little window to tell you when you need to refill it. Easy. That's the only maintenance on this. Other than that, you plug it in with your extension cord and you go to town. If you've got trees that need trimming from a really crazy winter, you know, trees are hanging over your driveway, or maybe you went out back and you're like, oh my gosh, that thing needs to be pruned. It's ideal for that. Remember, it's a handheld chainsaw, right? That by connecting the pole in the middle becomes uh, your far reaching pole saw. Peter, I will tell you out of all the things that I've gotten, I've gotten from you personally, I've got yep. a pressure washer from you right. and a pole saw from you. Uh, I got solar lights from tiller. you. I have the tiller from you. I have about the list four. is long. This is my favorite. Because to me, is. like, when, when my neighbors are out there and they see me, and, and it's not screaming noisy, it doesn't have smoke, you, it's on and off with a trigger, you don't have to pull right. start it. When my neighbor, Don, across the street sees me trimming our palm trees and I'm not on a ladder, he's like, I know he's thinking, can I borrow that thing, right? <laughs> sure, so, everybody wants but, to borrow But let me it. tell you quickly, and you know this, right? $79.95, that's a steal. Yeah. That is such a good price for this. You tell them about it, I'll, I'll do a, cup, a right, couple quick away, demonstrations with that handheld chain so. hit me. But watch how easy. I mean, you are gonna oh love God. this. I'm just gonna watch it. It's the best I mean, feeling ever. That. You know, it's, it, a, it's a very empowering feeling. It, it really is. And what you should notice about that when I'm using this, now I've been using an electric chainsaw for a number of years now, but it's so simple. It's just easy. You're not fighting with it. You don't have to sort of white knuckle this and hold on. The way this is designed with that, with that 10 inch bar and chain, with that automatic lubrication system to get that oil on there, it is a smooth process. And if you've never used a chainsaw, this is the chainsaw for you because you can do it. And the, the great part about this two in one is that you don't have to decide whether you want that handheld chainsaw or you want that pole saw to get those limbs up above. This is gonna cover everything and you are gonna love it because it is so simple. So Guy was mentioning like, how do we go from the handheld chainsaw to the pole saw and it is so simple with the snap and lock technology. So check this out, that, all I have to do is lift that and then basically, I think this is amazing that I'm just gonna pull that apart just like that. So now there's the chainsaw part, I'm gonna leave it right there. And we're gonna take the handle and we're gonna attach it to the pole. Let's flip that around right there. So this snaps in just like that and then you just tap that down. So now that's ready to go. Then on the other end, we do the same thing. Push that in, snap it down and we are ready to go. We now have a pole saw. So as you start doing this, you're gonna be able to change from the pole saw yeah. to the handheld saw and I don't know, 10 seconds, it's 20 so, seconds. It's so quick. It is so easy. Yep. Now this is exactly, I think we always talk about this. This might be our most popular outdoor, outdoor lawn and garden tool because it is what everybody needs. Well, because we're paying someone yeah. to do this job. I think a lot of people for, from a traditional chainsaw, you know, a big, uh, you know, gas powered chainsaw, it can be really intimidating. I've used one. I, right. I was in Tennessee a couple years back and they had that, they had a really bad storm and I was helping this guy with uh, logs that had fallen onto his roof and we were up there with handheld chainsaws. And I'm telling you, you need to be a pretty substantial person to get up there with a big giant chainsaw with this. Right. We get ladies to buy this so that they can trim up their yard. Uh, they now have the ability to reach areas they they would have to hire somebody to I mean, pay to go do it Pete. that, that makes that. it so easy and i think we all know that when we walk outside our house we can look up and we see those those limbs that are either they're everywhere maybe they're just you know, in, know you know they're really coming too close to the front door when you walk out you want to open up that canopy in front of your house you want to make sure that there's no limbs getting close to the cars in the driveway or the windows or the roof this is the way to do it and it is so simple. But maybe you have down limbs, maybe you wanna cut wood for firewood. This is great because it is the two in one and you've got that handheld part as well. And, and let's go back to the handheld chain. So we can go back and forth so many times, it makes it so easy. I want you to see this, that shot right there though. Look at what he just did, right? Yeah. I mean, he was able to get that branch down that was about 10 feet over his head and that's the reach that you have with this. There it is when it shifts gear into a handheld chainsaw. I'm telling you out there, anybody out there, do not be afraid of this. Once you start using it, the learning curve is nothing. You're like, oh my gosh, this is so easy to use. It's not intimidating. It's not a daunting task. You can try, listen, you can try it out. Get it home and try it for 30 days. Just, just if, if, I'm, if I'm not right, you return it, right? We have our 30 day unconditional policy. T send it back if you don't love it. But I will tell you, I use mine on a regular basis. I don't use the old fashioned loppers anymore and I don't, I never use a regular handsaw. I use this thing all the time. I got, in fact, my brother, 
I've gotten him two of them. He got one, he got one for his friend. He's like, you gotta <laughs> give me another. These things are so awesome. Because I think, even, and my brother's bigger than me, but it's like, even us, we're like, do I really want to invest in a big old chainsaw? Then I gotta get gas, then I have to no. get it tuned. And by the way, it's very easy to be able to maintain this thing as well. You, you, it's easy to yep. open up. If you need to tighten the chain, you don't even have to open the unit up. It has yeah, a chain the, tightener right there. Yeah, the, the chain loosens over time, so that's something that you always have on a chainsaw. But here, you don't have to use a tool to get that chain tension exactly the way it, we right? want it. Right there, as you talked about this earlier, this is where we put the bar and chain oil in there, and there's a little window there, so you know how much oil is in there. You put oil in it. As long as it has the oil in there, you are set to go. This 10-inch bar and chain is an Oregon bar chain that's the industry standard but guy you're exactly right i do not need a huge gas power chainsaw this is going to do the job maybe years ago when we first went electric this was you know oh it doesn't have the power but now you're itching to Come go. Come on, brother. All right, all right, sir. They're being so, all manly with your with, chainsaw. With, with this electric it. chainsaw, it is so easy to use, but the power makes it such a safe tool because it's very smooth. We're probably doing, that's probably a two and a half inch limb. I want to show everybody how thin you can cut them to show you the control. I mean, look at that. I just made like six coasters for my house. I could put, <laughs> uh, look at that. But it is really, really easy. And remember, uh, there's a hand protector to protect your hand. You have to hit two switches to make it work. So it's very, very comfortable. Look at the size of it. You see, it's the perfect size. This is the 10 inch chain, which allows right. you to do, I mean, you can do logs about as big as that chain. That's really big. Right. So whether you're, and I use it like this when I'm doing firewood or if I'm just doing real easy jobs. When I want to do the tough jobs, I put that pole on and now I can reach everywhere. And I tell you this, as one of the tips in our garden show, never, you should never get on a ladder to probably do any kind of landscaping, to be honest with you, because you're trying to focus on one thing, you're trying to balance, don't do that. Buy something that can reach, right? It's the same reason why a rake is this tall and not this tall, because it, it makes it easier to do, right? You have a nice long handle. With this, Peter will supply the handle. When you're doing those close-up jobs, you use this. And here's another nice thing, a regular chainsaw idles when it's not being used. Exactly. This thing is quiet, look. <laughs> On, off. So I'm not wasting energy. I'm not pumping fumes into the environment. I'm using something that is earth conscious, but I'm also using something that I can handle and that you can handle. I get more phone calls from ladies that are calling us and they're like, you know, I'm, I, my, my, uh, my husband's gone and I, I really want to get out there and be able to utilize, uh, uh, you know, and, and take care of my property. And I don't want to spend, you know what they, they charge you here? Like 50 bucks a tree. To Absolutely. Trim it. Palm trees, like anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks a tree. They go out there, they do 10 trees, that's 500 bucks, and they're there for 35 to 40 minutes. Because <laughs> they go on, they do, and I'm not giving them any, any hassle, but why not take care of some of that stuff yourself? It's a very empowering tool to have. Yeah, it absolutely is. And so let's go, let's go back to the, to the, uh, the pole saw as well. I and I want to show you, actually, before we do that, you were talking about the, the safety switch there. When you let go, that it automatically stops. But there's a safety switch that I have to go to again because just pulling that trigger doesn't do it. And one more thing, if you're going to leave this for even a, a minute and put it down, we can lock it out completely right here with this chain brake. So if I push that forward, no, even if I hit the safety switch, this will not start at all until I click that back into place and then it will go again. So safety is really important. So let's loosen that up. We pull these two apart just like that. I'm gonna put that handle on this way, snap, and then lock that in place. Same on this side. This makes it super easy to go from that handheld chainsaw to the pole saw and let's go fully extended with this yeah. you can extend this all the way out you lock that up just with that little collar and, right and there you're, makes you're it pretty, easy you're a pretty tall guy you're what are you like six two Nah, not quite six two. all right well you maybe you'll get there one day it's it's <laughs> it's high up here and anyway no but you're you, so you're over six feet tall but there's a lot of stuff you can't reach definitely not right? but this allows most people to get in that nine ten eleven feet yeah. there and i think if you went outside and you thought about those limbs that's where most of those problem limbs are and those are the ones that you can take care of without calling someone yeah and then as i as you can put this in several different positions what this what this allows you to do is always be at that perfect angle because one of the things we want to be careful, we don't want to try to cut branches and stand directly underneath them. We want to be at a 45 degree angle. This is, I'm going to move to this side. Hey, this Peter, is going to allow and, us and, to reach and out you don't perfectly. Have to push, right? No, basically once I lay that on top of the branch, just that about six pounds, that top of that motor weighs, and it's just going to go right through that branch. It is very simple to do. And even higher, I mean, look at that. You can make cut after cut. 
I mean, you can just it's, keep going. It's a job it's so that normally simple. you have to pay somebody to do, and you can do it yourself. Listen, if you need to take down a tree, you call a professional tree guy or a landscaper. But if you want to just take care of your own property, and, and you see, these are these are ladies, guys, everybody, small stature, large stature, doesn't matter. If you want to clean it up, and this is like a Florida type of tree, right? Those things have little stickers on them, man. You don't want to get near those things. <laughs> no Try doing way. those with loppers, and you're going to poke yourself with those little thorns. You do it from a distance. Look at this guy, right? You know, these, these are, and when you trim up your property, it looks so nice. Get this now, because you can already start using it on the branches that maybe had frozen, uh, you know, ice on them and all that stuff. And... <laughs> frozen ice like there's any other yeah, kind of frozen you know ice what I mean and, and they start to hang over right well exactly so we just went through the winter there were all those storms so you're gonna have a couple of things you may have down limbs in your yard maybe you could just cut those up put them in for the trash maybe keep them for firewood for next season but also there's a lot of dead limbs up there right you want to be able to take those down prune some of those plants back we're actually just coming into where we're gonna have that explosive growth all around so then maybe towards the end of spring you're gonna want to pull those back again open up that canopy around your house and then certainly the, the best time I think so getting this now you're well prepared is in the fall before we go into winter, you're going to want to cut all those branches back so they don't get weighed down by the frozen ice. Yeah. And then they start to get too I'm close getting to antsy. The, I want to use you're, to, you're, to he's the do, roof. He's talking. I and just want to cut things, man. Our, once you use this, and you know this, is it not addictive once you use it, a chainsaw? It definitely is. You know what? You can show them. Why don't you keep it in the pole yeah. saw, but we can use it on this log right here. If because you don't want to get close. Right. If you have things that are down on the ground, but... Exactly, you don't have to get right up close to that chainsaw by just using it in the pole saw configuration. Two in one, you don't have to decide whether you want a handheld chainsaw or the pole saw. It is so simple to use. Look at that. And I'm not putting any pressure on it. All no, I'm doing exactly. is I'm allowing the weight, and Peter said it's about five to six pounds at the end. I'm allowing that weight to be all the pressure I need, all right? It's easy to be able to, to manipulate as well since it's not a big bulky machine. There's no pull starting. There's no gas, there's no fumes. It's better for it's better for your neighbors because it's about a tenth of the noise level of a regular chain. I can hear That's chainsaws sure. from three miles away. This oh, one, yeah. no issues. Your neighbors can use it. Um, you know, obviously if you've got kids, this is not a toy, so make sure if, you, you know, if they're old enough to use it, you show them all the right ways. There's lots of built-in safety features on this as well. Oh, yeah. All you need to buy outside this is that little bit of a bar and chain oil, which you can find at any home store. Just say, I have an electric chainsaw, I need chainsaw oil. They're like, they're like there it is. It's a couple of bucks, it's cheap. And then obviously you have an extension cord. That's all that you need. And you are in business and you are cleaning up your yard the right way. We are extremely busy right now. We, this is the most affordable chainsaw that we carry here. It's the two-in-one model, which is so convenient because it is a handheld chainsaw that becomes a pole saw. So you're basically getting two, uh, two great tools for the price of one. If you have a branch, look how high up that branch is, right? Now look how much better that tree looks, right? Clean it up, use a chainsaw. Exactly, it's a really a must do. We know so many people who have had to call, I, I called once, I have very large oak trees. I can get many of the branches, but every couple of years, I right. have to call someone in to get the higher branches and to clean that up. But think about this, I can, it used to be every year or more than once a year. Right. Now it's every two years because those branches don't cause as much problems. But I know the times I walk out the front door and those, those trees are just bending straight down on the walkway and I can use the pole saw and the okay. chainsaw and do that. Look it is up. so simple. You're going to love yeah. this. And I know we've, we're running out of time, guy. No. I'll just show a little bit more with that handheld. I mean, it is so simple. As soon clean. as I let go, yeah, it stops. Yeah, that's... Look at how clean the cut is, too. I don't know how close you guys can get to this it's little smooth. thing in my hand. But um, this is how clean the cut is. So even with a handsaw, you'd be hard-pressed to try to get a clean cut like that. That's why I said I'm making coasters here. But anyway, look at that. I mean, I've nickeled this thing down. So you can be very precise with this. A big, big chainsaw, it's hard to be precise. There are guys, landscapers won't even let new landscapers in that work for them use a chainsaw. No They're way. like, let me handle it. <laughs> you can handle this. All right. Oh, yeah. Here, hold that for me, Peter. I got you, you, I got you a coaster. That. Our best value of the day, our super pressure washer coming up next. First, here's a little info. Take a listen. The thing I love most about shopping at HSN. Do I have to pick just one? I'd have to say FlexPay. Mm -hmm. It allows me to get the things I want now. And make monthly payments. Without any interest or fees. I got a new mattress for the guest bedroom. A fabulous cookware set for my sister's wedding. And a little something just for me. FlexPay gives me the flexibility to buy what I need now. Without the stress of having to pay for it all at once. And no interest. Beat that layaway.
workmen up and you're looking to impress your friends, let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood broil using my DuraPan. Let's do seafood for the dinner party. Shop like a VIP with the HSN credit card. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. As an HSN card member, you'll get all kinds of perks, like extra flex on jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases all day, every day. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, and there's no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so we were just talking about the chainsaw and how important that is. Uh, easily on the same level has to be uh, a pressure washer. First of all, you got dirt and grime all over your house. You have all kinds of scuzz on the driveway, right? Maybe you need to wash your car, whatever. We have come up with an incredible value for you today. We're putting it on FlexPay. You get everything you need to clean your, up, uh, your house up in time. Here it is, your next presentation of the Today Special. Like, well, what do I need a chainsaw for? I got a garden hose. I'll just use my garden hose. You get no pressure out of a garden. Did I say chainsaw? I meant pressure washer. You get no you get no power out of your regular garden hose, right? You got to you try to put your thumb over the end of it, and you're like, oh, there you go. It's not going to work. You need a pressure washer. We have priced one down to $139.95 for you. Comes with everything you need. That's the turbo nozzle right there that's really going to blast the dirt and grime away. And remember, not just for your driveway, not just for your shutters, you can use this on your power tools. You can use this to clean virtually anything. You can clean windows with this everything and you do it yourself. You pay one time, right? Get it home and you're gonna use it all the time. What you're seeing there are the various tips that we supply. We give you the soap dispenser tip. We give you the, uh, the angle tip, right? The high angle tip so you can get all those cracks and crevices. And we give you, this is the, this is the turbo nozzle right here. Look, if you come up to the table, I'll show you what you get. So this attaches to your spray gun. They, they put it in a spray gun because it's really easy to squeeze the trigger, right? There, you know, and, and, it's, and it's on a little spring-loaded mechanism. When you squeeze it and depress it, you'll get pressure washing. When you let it go, it automatically stops. In addition to that, in addition to that in the turbo nozzle, you're gonna get the little soap dispenser nozzle, and this creates the foam, because there's a soap tank on here so you can wash your car, your boat, your RV, your sidewalk, whatever. And then we give you a little, uh, the, which, Peter, what's this one, the, the angle? 25, 25 degree. 25, 25 degree. And that's gonna give you a different type of stream to clean other uh, various things around your house. Uh, this is the hose that connects to, uh, to it, that's your water hose. So you get a total of, of 20 feet of hose. You get 35 feet of cord, which is on the back. So you have 55 feet of reach with this thing. So you don't have to worry about plugging it in on one part of the house and plugging it in on the other side. You don't have to worry about that. The unit itself, very compact and very portable. So if you need to move it around, you can. There's a soap dispenser tank built into this as well, so you can add whatever soap you like to use. Most people love that when they're washing the car. You get all this and you get it for one payment if you wanna use FlexPay of only $27.99. I'm gonna step over and show you colors really quick and then Peter's gonna to go to town. He's gonna clean it up. You sawed down the trees, now you're cleaning my driveway. Let's do it. I love you, Pete. All right, <laughs> I'll start down in front here, okay? The one down here to my right is just our gray kind of a slate colored gray. In the middle is the green. We're, and by, as, to my knowledge, we're the only one to carry all these different colors. Right? We have an exclusive configuration today. So to be able to have a choice of all these different colors, navy blue, this is red, obviously purple, and this is teal. They are on wheels, so you can roll them and port them wherever you need to. If you need to throw it in the trunk of the car to bring it to the boat yard or whatever, you can do that as well. We love it, it's brand new, it's exclusive here at HSN. Peter. If, we, if you love cutting down trees, you're gonna love a, you're gonna love to have a pressure washer. I don't want to play favorites. What do you like? The better? pressure washer is the I'm best. I'm kind of I lean towards the chainsaw, but I have both, so it's not but fair. I, I love them both. There's jobs you got to do outside, and some of them are difficult. I mean, even using the chainsaw, you know, you're gonna get hot and sweaty out there. I'm telling you, using this pressure washer, you're gonna see instant, amazing results, and you barely have to do anything. So let's see it right here. I should do some work while I'm out here. Using the pressure washer is the least amount of work. Certainly no elbow grease, and you are going to see 
fantastic instant results. Wow. The dirt and grime and all that slimy green stuff that's been all over your walkway, your patio, your driveway, maybe just even on the foundation of your house, the exterior of your house, you are going to love what you can do with this. Maybe it's that old fence that you have. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's that white PVC fence that gets all grimy. You forgot how great the pavers look. You forgot what color the, even the concrete is out front because it just, you know what, it, everything just gets covered in black. It is amazing. I was using this underneath a little, the little small covered porch in the front of the house yeah. so it doesn't get a lot of rain there. So the underneath part of that, the front of the house, the windows, was at the, the black dirt that was pouring off. And we have a, a lemon yellow colored house. I know you do, it's yeah. lovely. So it was unbelievable the difference in how great it looked when you used a pressure washer and it is not a lot of work. You're cleaning those windows and screens. I did all, on, all underneath that whole patio and then there's pavers down in front. It's amazing the difference. Yeah. And that'll be the same thing for you when you get this home and you will get obsessed with using this pressure yeah, washer. It is, it's, it's so it's great. It's addictive like the chainsaw is. Absolutely. Because, well, I think a lot of people don't think they can handle a pressure washer. They, when they think about it, they think of that, you know, that giant thing that you see at the home store that's $500 uh, that you may, you know, if you only use it twice a year, you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. And it's way more than you need. 1600 PSI is a huge, 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 vast difference from your regular garden hose, which pumps out uh, X amount of water. This takes that same water. In fact, it uses much less water than a garden hose. Exactly. Because you're taking that water and you're concentrating it down into a, into a fine stream. And that's what gets into all the cracks and crevices. And notice something too, when Peter let go of the handle, right. listen. It's quiet. It's not running in the background like a regular gas-powered one would do. It's not scary or daunting whatsoever. You can use it on virtually anywhere in your around your home. So like for instance, on my deck, there's mildew on the side of the deck where the uh, sprinkler system just keeps sure. getting it. So it's, it gets really, really wet and there's mildew all over. On the side of my shed, mildew at the right at the bottom. It seems to grow down there near the grass. I can get that. If you have the little mud, the little, uh, what are they? The little uh, hornets or bees that make right, the little right. mud daubers. That's what they're called. Yeah, you know what they are. Those little nests, right? Don't go scraping those things off with a screwdriver. Use your pressure washer and scooch those things off. Maybe you want to clean out your gutters. Maybe you want to wash the tires or your whole car. You can use this for so many different things. And it plugs into a regular plug. You don't need anything special, right? Uh, we're showing you some of the settings. So if you want to use it with soap or without soap, you can do that. Yeah, let's, let's show everyone that to yeah. do a little tour of the machine. Yeah, let's I mean, you've shown them there, but we have it all hooked up here. Because I want you to understand, when you get this home and you take it out, all you have to do is you're going to plug it in, and then right here, yeah, 17 pounds, you're going to just attach your garden hose, just like you attach your garden hose to you, whatever faucet you have outside, you're set to go. And then on the other side is the 17, I should say, the 20 feet of pressurized yeah. hose, 17 pounds, 20 feet of pressurized hose. You mentioned the 35 foot electrical cord and that's it, you're set to go. When you wanna wheel it around, it's really kind of like your carry on luggage right there. It folds up, you can also use it in the horizontal position and lay it down if you wanna do that. But I remember when these machines were giant, big giant machines right. to get the Noisy. kind of power that we're getting, but 1600 PSI. All the jobs that we're talking about, that's gonna be the perfect amount of pressure. You're going to use this 25 degree tip for most of those jobs and you're gonna love it. It's gonna be exactly what you need. You can see we've got the brass connector right there. The tips are metal. We also give you that soap dispensing tip and we give you the turbo nozzle. Turbo nozzle is gonna be for when you wanna use those large areas of so an entire driveway. You're gonna be able to cover those areas a lot quicker. Yeah. So let's do some of the other things. We were showing the paver. So if that's the sidewalk of the driveway, what do you want to do next? The fence, or we can do the let's, outside of the house. The, let's the fence, the fence is cool. first because the, you know we the, this is actually real mold that kind of we we leave these out and let them get nice and moldy uh, and and uh, and mildewy and look at how it cuts through and exposes the nice wood that's underneath. Exactly. You can take this back down <laughs> to that that original wood color. It it just refinishes the whole look at that side of that wood. I mean, you would not believe. And I, what I love about this is when we're talking about jobs for the pressure washer, if I wanted to refinish this wood, how would I do this job without a pressure washer? It would be virtually impossible. Well, I, I told everybody in the beginning, remember I said, if you really want to grab a bucket of water and a toothbrush, 
You could probably get in there and get all those little cracks and crevices if you had Maybe. a couple of days to do it. Peter's going to finish this whole thing of this fencing in about a minute and a half. I mean, look at how quick and easy. And Peter, explain, it's more powerful when you hold it up close to something, correct? Yeah, exactly. Obviously. So for many jobs, you know, you can start a little bit further away and it does the job. But if you see something that takes a little bit more power, you, when you move in close, now you're taking advantage of all 1,600 PSI. <laughs> Sorry. But look at that. Let me get out front there. Oh, there we go. All that green mold and mildew. It takes that whole layer off. It and, is amazing what you do really with this. And there's really no weight in your hand. Honestly, <laughs> Not at all. guys. Less than two pounds yeah. in your hand. As you mentioned, I pull that trigger, I get the power. When I let go, it stops. And you can see, look how far away we are yeah. now from that machine. And I still have all this extra, the 20 feet of pressurized hose. No no pain or any kind of discomfort in your hand. You know, I would get, I, I would get my hand would get sore even holding the pull trigger on my regular hose or trying to put your thumb over right. the end. You don't have to worry about that if it's time to wash the windows, which I'm sure for all of you, that'll be the first job on your list. That seems to be one of the worst things that the winter exactly. leaves is a nasty, is your nasty windows. Maybe it's your siding, maybe it's your gutters. But notice how Peter doesn't have to get in there and scrub or anything, it goes right into every little nook and cranny to get the dirt and grime out yeah. of there. I mean, look at the difference. You start at the top and just work your way down, and it is amazing what this will do. But I really recommend this for the outside of your house because you really forget how great it can look. And if you have that covered porch or that back patio that's covered, yeah. That whole side of the house is going to be filthy. Your patio, you will be amazed. Patio furniture. All that. And your course, barbecue grill. Anything that's oh, yeah. outside. We're going to show way, you all of that. This comes with a two-year warranty. So talk to your sales representatives if you have any questions. But you get a two-year, not a one-year warranty on this product. And I will tell you, I've had mine. The original one that I got from Peter, I've had probably... I probably had that one for five or six years now. Sure. I, that's when I first got it. And uh, when Danny, that's my son, when he got his, uh, his first car, he actually got a truck. The only way you could clean that thing was with a was with a pressure washer. It was that big. We should do that. You want to do I've that? I got a car out there. We can we can wash the car. Brake dust. It's like you, you you're never going to scrub again. You just you don't even have to use a sponge because it's got a soap tank in it. So. Exactly. So it's awesome on the car, and it can be certainly you know yeah. your four wheelers, your boat, all the fun stuff. But even if it's the lawnmower, if you oh, have yeah. a riding lawnmower, tractor. Blasting away all that dirt and grime with this is so simple. You, you head over. I'll meet you there okay. in two seconds. I'll what I'm going to do that. is I want to go over and show everybody right, the cool. colors. I'll yeah, leave so this put here. That down. Um, okay. Really quickly, colors, can we do that one more time? Can you follow me? Come on over. Ken, follow me over here, buddy. So once again, uh, you have a choice, uh, which is really nice. When you go to the home stores, usually you have a choice of one color, maybe two. We're giving you any color. They all work the same. Doesn't matter to me. But I like, you know, I've, I've got, I have a navy blue one, and I love it. It comes in green. It comes in gray. This color we're calling teal. Yeah, it also comes in uh, purple, and then it also comes in red. I'm not sure which is the most popular. Red is the most popular, so if you would like red, I know we're getting down in quantity for that. As far as how you get this home, it's only $27.99 and $5 to ship. So it'll be $32.99 plus you'll pay your tax. That's, sorry, I got nothing to do with that. Um, but So your first payment will be a little bit more than your other payments, just because you're getting that out of the way. You have 30 days to try it out. If you don't love it, you send it back. I want you to love this. I'd rather sell you things and, and give you products year after year than just one and done and, and have you be miserable. So if it doesn't work for you, <clears throat> it's too much for you, whatever, you can always send it back. Uh, then all you do is make the other payments and you own it. You'll, you, it'll, you'll be almost paid for by the end of summer. So think about that, because I think this is a five flex. So yeah, here we are in March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be done with it and you'll be using this thing throughout the year, all right? Sure, when it snows, you may not use it as much, but I've seen people blow their driveway off using a pressure washer to get the sleet and the rain and all the nasty stuff off of their, uh, off of their driveway. So if you've always dreamt of owning one, but you go to the home store and you say, it's kind of intimidating. What do I got to do? I don't, I don't, I got to put gas on this thing. I got to do this. I got to do that. Not with this. You open up the box, you go out to your yard, you grab your garden hose and you fix your garden hose to it. You plug the dang thing in and you pull the trigger. That's it. And now you are empowered to do all your own cleaning. I'm gonna join my friend, Mr. Kilcullen, out here on our little patio in just a moment as we get ready. We're pulling our car in right now because we have to drive a car on the sidewalk, which is illegal in most states, but we actually, we own this, so 
Good to go. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Clean, be clean. <laughs> well, All right, yo. so tell everybody what you've done so far. You put soap in this thing? Yeah, so you've got the soap in there and the soap tank, which is super easy to do. But here's the great thing. It knows when you want to put the soap on there. So let me just uh, rinse off the car real quick. So we'll just get, you know, get the car wet, ready to go, get any of the loose dirt off there, which is great. And then I'll show you how we can change the tip on here. I was showing you that brass um, connector right there. So you just pull down on that, pull that out and then the black one that we're giving you that's the low pressure soap dispensing tip so put that on it's ready to go and now it automatically knows that i want to put the soap on so all i do now is when i pull the trigger low pressure but watch this you're going to see we're going to have a ton of soap oh, coming out of that. there it's that easy to add that soap to your car you can walk all the way around you can get on the wheel wells, all of that, that's simple. So now you can let that soap sit for a second. I'm gonna switch back to that 25 degree tip, which is gonna be, you know, that's gonna be your all purpose. You're gonna use that for everything, for everything. Yeah, because it's so yeah. simple to use. So now I can go back to the car. Now I don't have to get a bucket. I don't have to get that soap in there. No. I don't have to reach in and try to do that. But look at this now as I can blast away dirt and debris and certainly all the bugs and the road grind. And I really recommend for a lot of people, get your pressure washer out and you're gonna go around and underneath the wheel well, get all that dirt and grime, not only off the wheels and the tires, but underneath. You can get all underneath there because you have that all salt and the sand from the winter on the roads, the bugs, get those headlights. But this is the that. best way to wash the car. It makes it so simple and you're not getting wet. Yeah, it's ideal. It's really a great way to go. Windshield, windows, whatever it takes, you can do that. We, so, go ahead. You had something? No, I was just gonna say. Well, I was talking about <laughs> Danny. Danny uses the, uses the pressure washer oh, much more than I do because he's, a, you know, his affinity for vehicles and cars, and I pay him a little money to wash my car too. So, but he he pulls it out every single. He's like, oh, you gotta have the pressure washer. The only way to get it cleaned out. And he knows all about cars. Right, now. right. And I'm like, he goes, you, the, the wheel wells, the tires. He goes, plus we're in Florida, we get those little. No, not no seams, the little black fly things that are all over the love, the love bugs. bugs. Love bugs, yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. We get those all over and they stick to the glass and the windows. This is the way to clean it. it and it gets in. I mean, look at this. Oh yeah. How would you, if you come down here, how would, this has holes in here. Look at, how would I, what, I gotta get a little brush? And no, don't do That's that. That's why Danny's using it. I mean, it's so much yeah, easier. It's, it's easier, it's faster. It's but now you're outside with your pressure washer and you're washing your car, but then you can start walking around the entire yard, the driveway, you can yeah. do the patio. Check this out. The patio furniture's been outside. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip over to this side. Yeah, come on over. So, you had your patio furniture outside the whole winter time. So watch this as I get up close and I can start blasting away Look at that. on that patio furniture, the cushions, you will see all the dirt and grime that's been in there all winter long and the difference is immediate. Look at that. So you can blast away all the aluminum. Look at the seat cushion. It's all dirt everywhere. All of these areas you can blast clean with your pressure washer. And again, this is the type of thing, how would you clean that? Would you have a little spray bottle and you're you, trying to well, wipe it? You, you this is to, the way to do it. You have to scrub the dang thing. And, and right. you know, that's where you the back brake can work if I'm gonna scrub everything. Look at your grill, even around <laughs> like the, uh, the, the control knobs. I mean, that's where the grease goes, right? And yet most people are never gonna take the time to really clean it with the toothbrush, right? Nobody's got time for that. You don't need to when you have a pressure washer. It gets around the thermostat dial. It gets all the places where the metal is folded or bent or crinkled, it gets in. And look, it looks like a brand new grill, right? And you can use it, by the way, use it on your grill grates. Use it on anything that's got a mess on it that you can't scrub off, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I wanted to do a little bit more with this fence. Yeah, do the fence. Because you can see what we did. Look at, you can still see what we did last night. I mean, it's amazing the difference in that fence. So let me, I'll just pick this, the middle one right here so you can see the difference. And you will be able to refinish that entire fence. And it really is fast, easy work. I mean, look at that. As you take away all that weather, all that dirt and grime, bring back that original look of the wood. So think about this. If you wanted to refinish, you wanted to repaint, and it doesn't have to be a fit. Get in there. No, you, I don't, I don't you want to spray do some it. Work? No? I'll do it. But I want to actually look at the wood here, and I want you to see... This is, this is what happens after time to your fences, right? Either they turn this color or they turn that green color. Sure. There Both. is, a, I would hate for you to go out there and spray bleach on your wood areas and things like that. Nobody I, wants to I do that. I don't recommend that. I, I mean, especially if you've got pets and kids or grass, you're gonna kill all the grass. 
use, you see, this is just water. Exactly. That's water doing the cleaning, water and water pressure. So it could be the fence. Maybe you want to restain it. You want to refinish it. You want to maybe put some waterproofing on there. All those things you're going to be able to do with this pressure washer. And it makes it so easy to do. So, I mean, the fence is great. But don't forget, this could be the wood fence. It could be the PVC fence. All those different things. How about this guy? We've got an indoor-outdoor uh, sort of carpet rug yeah. out here. Same yeah, how thing. Do you, how do you clean that? Like, if you didn't have a pressure washer. And again, I guess you got to mop it or scrub it. You're never going to get the, the you, dirt You'd have it. your finger kind of over the hose trying to do it. But look at the amount of dirt that comes out of this mat. I was blown away and it does such a nice job. This is, again, if you have carpets like this that are outside all winter long, when you see the difference in this, you'll be really impressed. So this can be all those areas outside you are gonna love it. I mean, look at the difference right there. So clean everything. How about this bird bath? Yeah, I was, go ahead. I was doing this bird bath. Where do you see? Just if I just make one line, just kind of from top to bottom or bottom to top right here, it just looks different immediately. You can see how clean it looks. Yeah. And it is amazing. Yeah, I, I love it on uh, also uh, for the one, I use it uh, mainly on my deck outside. I have um, I have one of those man-made um, you know. Uh, whatever the material is, it's not real, it's not a wood deck because they don't last here in Florida, right. but it gets a lot of mold and mildew on it and, it and it stains very easily. Really the only way to clean it is with a pressure washer. Nothing else works on it. Even if you try to put a chemical on, this stuff is so porous, you gotta get deep down in there. Absolutely. To get, all that, get all that gunk and, out. And just that. like anything we're doing, as I'm doing this bird bath, if I'm not getting what I want, watch as I get a little closer. Oh, now, there it is. So you start further away and always move in if you need a little bit more power because the closer you get, the Look more that. of that 1600 PSI you're doing. And you've seen all these jobs that we've been doing. And this is gonna be exactly what everyone's doing at home. From washing the car, from doing the pavers and the wood fence or the PVC fence, 1600 PSI with that 25 degree tip is going to be exactly what you need. Right. So you definitely have enough power and it's super lightweight and easy to use. Now's the time to be able to pick it up, everybody. You're gonna blast away all the winter woes, all the dirt, all the grime, the snow, the salt, the mold, the mildew. And you ask yourself, why, well, what do I need a pressure washer for? Well, first of all, you need one that's super powered. You need one that you can handle. You need one that's reliable and easy to use. You need one that's compact so it's easy to store. You want electric, you don't want gas. You wanna, you wanna store gas cans and all that stuff. I mean, it's enough that you have a mower out there. <laughs> By the way, uh, tomorrow I have an electric mower. If you turn into Gardening with Guy at 8 a.m., I'm launching uh, the new electric mower. I believe that's with my friend Peter Kilcullen. I hope it is. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Peter, uh, people are a little confused. We're getting some calls. People are like, well, tell me about the little, the little valves and, and the nozzles, how they work. Yeah, I mean, what we're showing there is that that 25 degree tip is gonna work for most of those jobs, and then also the soap dispensing tip is there as well. But here's what we wanna do, Guy, is show them the turbo nozzle, because the turbo nozzle is gonna be great for all of those larger jobs. So did you wanna go through colors, or should we do the turbo nozzle? Uh, why don't I do colors really quick? We have about two minutes left, so I'll go Sounds through one good. more time. When you order, remember you only pay the first month's payment, $27.99, shipping, handling, and tax. That's all you pay. We'll ship it out to you. If you don't love it, you send it back. If you do love it, you keep it. But here they are. Gray, green, navy blue, red is the most popular and they'll be the first one to sell out. I have it in purple and then I also have it in the teal. Remember, you have 55 feet of reach on this between the, the hose that you have, your garden hose, um, and, uh, and the hose that comes with it and the, and electrical, the electrical cord. I mean, you, you got a lot of room with this. So, exactly. Yeah, so what is the nozzle you just That's put on? That's the turbo nozzle. So maybe the only negative there's ever been with something like this pressure washer or a, other pressure washers is that when you have that small little, little you know, spray and you're trying to do a huge driveway, that it makes it really difficult. Well, here's what we've done with that turbo nozzle. We're going to spin. It's a, it's a vortex of power, guy. I thought you would Say like that. Say that again. What is it? Vortex of power. Man, that's big time. That's cool. I'll show you this. I should have had when, that in my, in my show open. I should have had the vortex right. of power. So you can see as I spray that, there's, right, it kind of makes a circle because what it's doing is spinning. So look at that. Like a jet engine as it fires up. So I can cover larger areas with that, what is it called? Vortex of power. That's the one. I mean, look at the difference because you're getting a lot more area covered with this and I can get further away. Look at how the cone gets bigger and smaller. So that's what you want for those uh, large yeah. areas. And when you want more power, you Going just get tight. in there just like that. 
It is a great way to clean large areas. Maybe it's the entire PVC fence in the backyard and you can hear that power. So I love that turbo nozzle for those large areas. Let's keep going. I've got a little bit more here and I know we're running out of time. I know we are. But I can get quickly through all these large areas Look at that. with that turbo nozzle. Look at that. And you notice, I don't know if you can see, Peter's using this with one hand. One hand to clean this. Anybody can, look at no this. scrubbing. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the difference in that. It has that, that marbled pattern. That is amazing. I love that turbo nozzle guy. All right, you get it all in your choice of color. And remember, take advantage of FlexPay. We split up the payments for you, so it makes it more affordable. They don't do that in the big home stores. You gotta plunk down all the money all at once. I, and you're not gonna have your uh, choice of all these colors as well. All right, Mr. Peter Kilcullen, thank you, my friend. Thanks. Um, I'll see you next hour. And then you're on Gardening with Guy tomorrow. Don't forget 8 a.m. You know it. Are you gonna bring the vortex of power? I may not bring that.